Hello YouTube. Welcome back to an abbreviated version of Bald Man Building an Airplane. Today's video is basically going to be primer prep. I have, um, I, like I said in the last video, I was at a point on the left aileron where I knew that the right aileron, or that it was going to be done sooner than later, and the right aileron was going to be coming up. I didn't want to have to wait for primer to dry, so what I'm doing here is just prepping the uh, parts of the left, uh, I'm sorry, of the right aileron for primer. And then, other than, I mean, like doing the initial deeper and whatnot, I'll be doing the uh, actual scuffing and etching and whatnot off camera. I have my little sort of tent outside there to uh, sort of block the sun, although it's a, it, it did okay. Um, it's just enough to keep the stuff from drying up. Um, yeah, I do most of that off camera because it's super boring and not that the rest of this isn't but whatever so yeah then after this we're going to get on to fixing what I screwed up or what I didn't fully fix in the uh, what was it one or two videos ago when I realized that uh, there was an issue with the stiffeners. Yep, here we go. So I saw the scuff marks on the stiffeners when I was doing the deburring of these holes after I um, <coughs> after I uh, pulled them apart for their assembly. I was like, well, wait a minute here. What's going on? Aha, yes, they are touching each other. That's not good. So... I uh, said, "All right, well, let's pull them apart and figure out what's going on." And I looked at the, uh, I looked at the plans, and I think I probably looked at something online, but oh, I think it was posting to Slack. So it, it was a pretty simple fix. Um, you can kind of see that the stiffeners are raised toward the trailing edge. Uh, they should have been cut a little bit more uh, diagonally toward the skin. So I just got the um, sanding disc out on the Dremel and I put a little popsicle, popsicle stick on the uh, other side of the stiffener. You can see it there in front of my nose. Um, that was just to prevent the uh, sanding disc from hitting the uh, skin. Worked out perfectly and they all got down to the right shape where they no longer interfered with each other. And then I just took the uh, Scotch-Brite um, piece that I create for the Dremel just to quickly deburr those after I sanded them. Then it's uh, taping them up, and um, I think it was... Oh, I was repriming a little bit, so... I, I got, like, obsessed with primer on these ailerons. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, this is a quick one, but uh, you can see me taking the primed stuff off the wall um, in the background there. And we'll get back to assembly in the next video. So, thanks for stopping by.